Nationally exhibited artist Eric David Laxman crafts one-of-a-kind, collectible, functional art. His work is inspired by Greek, Egyptian, and Buddhist sculpture, as well as tribal art and contemporary design. As the head creative director of EDL Studio, he may be designing an outdoor bronze fountain, sculpting a steel wall hanging shaped like a heart, or fabricating a marble and glass table. Laxman's high quality pieces showcase elegant lines, appealing shapes, and dynamic concepts. You can see his custom railings at the Ashford and Simpson restaurant in New York City, his instrument stand cradling a keyboard in the sculpted palm of a hand touring with bands in Europe, or his large-scale sculpture commissioned for a park-like setting in Ohio. Eric's process is informed by his studies in art as well as science. His philosophy integrates functionality with aesthetics. This creative explorer is an award-winning artist, inspired collaborator, and sensitive listener. And he's really fun to work with. Welcome to the Eric David Laxman Studio in Garneville, an hour north of New York City. It's part of a large industrial arts complex where Civil War uniforms were once made. Today, Gaga has over 100 arts-related tenants, some of whom collaborate in an atmosphere of artistic cross-pollinization. Let's take a look at what Eric has going on in his showroom and his studio, where the magic begins. Welcome to the workshop in my studio. The fabrication process includes numerous steps. The first part being generating a drawing. In many cases, I'll do that on a CAD program. For a more sculptural piece, I might do a three-dimensional model. And then once we start building, it involves cutting parts and welding them, uh, drilling them, grinding, sanding. And in some cases, we'll patina the surface or paint it. Welcome to my showroom. When Eric's pieces leave his workshop, they may be exhibited in his showroom or other galleries, displayed at design and architectural shows, or, as is the case with his commissioned work featuring custom designs, installed at a home, business, or in an outdoor environment. The spherical works of acclaimed sculptor Grace Knowlton have been exhibited in museums and galleries across the country for the last 50 years. My feeling about outdoor sculpture is to have it blend in with its surroundings, to relate to the landscape, so you get a feeling of this belonging. We're in the Reeves Reed Arboretum in Summit, New Jersey, in the midst of a rose garden with everything in bloom. And we're looking at one of the sculptures made by Eric David Laxman. The thing about Eric's work is he is such an extraordinary craftsman as well as a sophisticated artist. The rhythms of science and poetry blend in the standing wave. I created this piece with the intention of creating something that just seemed like a burst of energy and a flowing movement. And I thought that the simple lines and curves would relate well in an outdoor environment. In addition to Eric's artworks, he creates functional pieces ranging from kitchen backsplashes and designer wine racks to custom railings for homes and businesses. Collaboration is at the heart and soul of Grammy Award winner Nick Ashford's career with his wife and musical partner Val Simpson, as well as with Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Diana Ross, and Maya Angelou. 
In creating a visual landscape for his exotic restaurant on the Upper West Side in New York City, Ashford teamed up with Eric Laxman. Welcome to the Sugar Bar. My name is Nick Ashford. Eric Laxman, he is number one in my book. He's very sensitive, and that's what you need to be an artist. Being an artist myself, it's hard to find someone who can zoom into your mind and figure out exactly what you're looking for. I wanted something that really looked authentic. You know, you can make something all shiny and brassy looking, but when he brought the designs to me and the samples to me, they looked like they had been in the ground for 100 years, <laughs> and that's exactly what I wanted. Really, most of the work was done with very standard off-the-shelf materials, and it was my job to transform those materials and make them into exotic art objects. One of the great things about Eric is understanding the space we're working in. People come here and they feel inspired because the work is so special. And the collaboration was actually easy because he listens. Eric creates custom art and functional works, collaborating with his clients in a mix of pieces embodying strength and grace. He juxtaposes contemporary style with classic forms in a myriad of innovative pieces, which are bold and lyrical. Hi, I'm Susan Berman. And I'm Robert Berman. And we're fortunate enough to have our own personal Eric Laxman gallery in our home. He incorporated all the elements that we wanted. We wanted metal, we wanted stone, we wanted free form, we wanted asymmetrical. We gave him a lot of things that we wanted and he put the art together. All right, we're entering the game room now. What we were looking to achieve in this room was to create something functional, yet arty. We showed Eric something that we had liked in terms of some metalwork, and he created his rendition of it that's just fabulous. And it gets used in vertical and horizontal fashions on the piece, um, and it really gives a special life to it when the light shines through and shows the patterns against the walls. You really do get an artistic look at this piece and have it complement the feel in the room. Laura Blanco is a residential and corporate interior designer with a finely tuned aesthetic working out of New York City and the tri-state area. It's fun to collaborate with artists like Eric Laxman. I'm attracted to his modern lines, organic style, and meticulous craftsmanship. His attention to detail and his execution in the final product that uh, makes me and my client very, very happy with his work. What place does functional art have in your life? Do you surround yourself with furniture and art which elevates your mood or excites your imagination at home and at work? Make a space for art. Thanks for coming.